no more control in our expression. We are totally filled with the tone of life, with the truth of being. <clears throat> And consequently, everything else is squeezed out. We might say that this relates to the filling of the state of incompleteness. On the basis of earthly heredity, we are all very incomplete. <clears throat> might be said not only incomplete, but peculiarly distorted. <clears throat> there is space here then, <clears throat> occupied by something, apparently, but the experience is one of incompleteness. I'm sure that all of you can testify to your own awareness of the fact of incompleteness. You feel inadequate on occasion. <clears throat> You're aware of some shortcomings at least, some absences, Because you have had that awareness, you may have tried to fill the emptiness with your particular concept of what would be good and right and proper, maybe on the basis of the emissary format. <clears throat> the point is that you are aware of a, an incompleteness. This is something that needs to be acknowledged <clears throat> as a fact of the matter without trying to make it seem as though it isn't so. And most of the function of good human beings is wrapped up in the endeavor to make it seem as though the person wasn't so incomplete as he knows very well he is. And that is a, a dishonest States, isn't it? A dishonest approach. One of the necessities is always that one should face the fact and be willing to acknowledge the fact without being afraid of doing so. Now there is the state of incompleteness, but by the same token you are aware of the availability of what would fill the, the emptiness. <clears throat> so it's not merely acknowledging emptiness, that's one aspect of the matter, that has been a past experience and still is to some extent, but at the same time acknowledging the presence of what is available to fill the emptiness, the incompleteness. Now we see this in relationship to ourselves as individuals, but we also see it with respect to the circumstances around us. We see it with respect to other people. We are aware of the fact of their incompleteness, and we are aware of the various methods that human beings use to cover it up. We are not interested in going around ripping off the covers and exposing people. That wouldn't help anyone. <clears throat> I'm not interested in ripping off any covers from you. <clears throat> what we are interested in is allowing the the something which should be present, to be present, so that the incompleteness may be filled. Now one may say that if this were an empty glass, it is in a state of incompleteness. 
because it is designed to hold water. Fill it with water, and the incompleteness is no more until you dump the water out again. <clears throat> Our concern is to utilize the states of incompleteness. They are, to us, vessels which may be filled with something. We're here to do the filling. There's a passage in the uh, 23rd Psalm which says something about my cup runneth over. And human beings, when they read that, think, oh, won't that be a nice state of affairs when I'm so full and bubbling over all the time. In other words, interpreted in a self-centered way. This is going to be nice for me. But your cup is the state of incompleteness that is present with you and which you have the opportunity of filling so full that it runs over. Filling so full of the something, the real something, which has heretofore been absent, thereby establishing a state of incompleteness. <clears throat> the state of, of evil. Now, there was nothing wrong with the incompleteness if we're on hand to fill it up. <clears throat> if there's nobody on hand to fill it up, then it stays a state of incompleteness. It stays evil. So we have abundant opportunity all the time by reason of the fact that our circumstances particularly exemplify in various ways states of incompleteness. Well, instead of fussing about it and complaining about it and trying to manipulate it in some way so that it's a more pleasing state of incompleteness, we take the cup and we fill it up. And when it's full, it'll overflow. So more available for what is round about. <clears throat> because we necessarily have to handle the particular thing of the moment. We can't handle everything all at once. It's one thing at a time. Whatever it is that presents itself to us is the thing to be handled. All right, if we fill that full to overflowing, then the overflow will also take care of a lot of the surrounding inadequacies. The surrounding states of incompleteness will begin to be influenced by the overflow. Sometimes one will look at one's circumstances and be inclined to feel a little bit overwhelmed. There is so much here. How can I handle it all? Where shall I start? Well, you have to start with the thing that is immediately at hand. That's the only possibility. And if you take that state of incompleteness and fill it full, you will at the same time be beginning to handle everything else. Everything else will be included once the overflow begins to appear. But the overflow won't appear until you've filled this particular little circumstance, whatever it is, full with the reality of your own, the expression of your own true tone. Because there is a particular tone for each one, <clears throat> all part of the greater tone. And so there is no necessity to be concerned about what may be called evil. We recognize it 